Last time on Quest to be a Millionaire. Hey, guess what? What, Yosha? We, we got bread, man. We got bread. What if uh, it gets dark and it starts to rain? We got soggy bread. No, this has got to be in a climate-controlled building. Yosha? What? We're not doing any more money for your bread. But look at all the stuff that we did for you. There are a lot of racks up here. What is Yosha up to? He must be working over here at the bread factory or something. What is that? Yosha? Hey, what's up? Me and my friend Yosho here lost everything. Now we are trying to make it big in the middle of nowhere. We have a $250,000 debt that we must beat to become a millionaire. Welcome to Quest to be a Millionaire. Yosho, what is this? Oh, oh, hey, hey, yeah, you came just at the right time. Uh, this is, this is the new storage unit, you know, for the bread. Why? So we can store the bread and climate controlled. See, see, look. Okay, okay. So, I, okay, I need to upgrade the the doors a little bit. If you see, they're they're kind of slow. Today would be nice. Moving up. Okay, yeah, good enough. And see, look, we got a little furnace in here to keep it whenever it gets cold, so it'll stay nice and warm in here, but yet to where it's not moist. Yo, sir. What? Why? Because we got to save the bread for optimal time to sell. Said so just sell it. But no, what, what, what if I want to save it? You know, okay, so you know, there's different types of aged bread that is worth so, hey, come here when I'm talking to you. There's no. all kinds of aged bread that is worth lots of money. He's lost his flipping mind. Can we talk about how this is a nicer facility than our own houses? Well, yeah, because I mean, I'm sleeping in a tent, hello. I'm just, can I just lock you in here? Nope, oh. I got the oh. key. If I hold it right here. Nope, nope, okay, well then fine then. I'll, I'll come out this door. All right. How much did it cost? Uh, I don't remember. I just wrote the check and said, here, make it. So you don't even know if you paid for just the building. Who, who sold you it? Uh, the store clerk, of course. He sells everything. Yeah, we got scams. No, we didn't. It's, it was it was good. It was like, you know, I, I don't know. I think like 20, 25,000. Yo, like show? What? I'm going to bed. Okay. Give me about 30 minutes to start my truck up. Have a good night, then. This man has lost his mind. Let's go ahead and put this thing up there. there go. Mario Show. Oh, morning. Morning. What's up? Getting me a banana. You want a banana? Yeah, sure. I'll take one. Yeah. Here's a here's a fruit. Here's a random right. fruit as well. Thank you. Appreciate it. Nom, 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 nom. You okay with everybody? You okay? I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm a little delirious, but it's all right. Yeah, you know, I, I got like bread on my brain. I mean, come on. You know, speaking about your bread. Uh-huh. What's up? I think we need to sell our silage because somebody made us broke. We only got $321 listed in our name. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I would say silage needs to go. We also got some corn to harvest over there, if you didn't notice. Yeah, I know. Well, okay, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll take care of the corn. Oh, go ahead and go take care of the corn. I'm going to take care of the silage. Okay, all right. Corn it is. Hey, Nate, you're on the radio? Yeah. Um, I'm not harvesting this corn. Well, did you get a corn header for it? This is the only header we got. Well, we need to go to town to get a corn header for it. Uh, You mean you didn't buy a corn header for this thing and you planted corn? exactly why would you plant something that we can't harvest because it's worth money it doesn't do no good if we don't get it out of the ground and plus think about it like this you can also make it into cornmeal and make a uh, cornbread out of it you're not solving the problem it's giving you more options of bread but okay fine well i mean i get that but if we can't get it out of the ground if we can't harvest it then what good does it do us yeah i, I was trying to figure out how you go harvest it with that header anyway well, why did you say something you see me go out there i thought you were taking it to town i didn't know maybe you were going to try to sell our one header for another one i wasn't going to question your madness don't we still need this header for the oats yeah we kind of do all right, I guess I'm going. Oh, wait, we don't have any money. Hey, that's not my fault. You know what? I'm going to cut grass while you solve this problem. Okay. I'll, I'll load up all the silage and I'll take it time to sell it and I'll buy you a corn header. I got you. Sounds like a plan. All righty. So I got the thing loaded down, ready to go. Yosho's dealing with something real fast while he's dealing with that. I'm going to take this on a town. So, you know, I'm not completely over the fact that he just went and made business decisions without me. I've made sure to involve him in every business decision I've made of here recently it's time to flip the table again all right and there we go so twenty five thousand dollars now we just gotta do that many more times and oh fun and after a lot of selling we're finally done with all that we came away with a pretty good profit so i'm gonna come over here and visit the store clerk and uh, get your show his header maybe get something else a nice looking about it oh, don't focus on it we gotta get the header and we gotta head back see what's all out here later Maybe figure out how I'm gonna what I'm gonna spend my money on. Alright. That should be the final strap. Yep, there we go. All strapped down, ready to go. Oh yeah. 
And you got the 8,000, right? Yeah, yeah. I already uh, withdrew it from your account. That's good. All right. I think I'm going to be heading out. All right. Well, uh, hey, hey, before before you go, hey, can I introduce you into a new line of work that we just got in? To make money? Well, yeah, duh. I mean, what would I sell you that doesn't make money? I mean, it just depends on how you Horses. do it. I mean, you just ain't done it right. I ain't done it right. There it is. What you got? Okay, well, come over here and check this out. You know, we got some uh, some buildings over here that are made of glass. I mean, check it out. You know, climate controlled. You can grow whatever you want in here. I mean, man, let me tell you the money. The money that you can make in mushrooms and flowers and mushrooms, you know, all flowers. kinds of crazy. Yes. Oh, dude, you know how many people go to those grocery stores and you see all those flowers everywhere? Yeah. Where do you think they come from? Are they good money? Well, I mean, duh. They wouldn't sell them if it wasn't making money. How much are they? Um, I, I can let these go for two grand a piece. I want five of each. Five of each? Wow. Okay, yeah. Um, let me let me uh let me call my supplier. Hello, hey, hey George. Yeah, yeah. By the way, uh I got a new customer with those uh new greenhouses out there. Yeah, yeah, I, I think you'll like it. He wants five of each. You know, I, I I talked him into some uh some product for me there. So yeah, what 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 was my cut again? Oh yeah, Your yeah, cut. yeah, yeah. Not a problem. What? Oh, hey, he's here. Let me let me let you go. So, yeah, just making sure you got it. Yep, you got him? All right, cool. I'll let you know where to send him. All right. Oh. Your cut? Well, I mean, I'm selling it. I'm a salesman. I get commission. Oh, can't you be nice enough to take off commission as much as I buy from you? So what? You need five of each? So that'd be ten of them? By the end of the day. By the end of the day? Uh, oh, I don't know if I can get them by the end of the day. You got to get them by the end of the day. What do you mean by the end of the day? By the end of this video, you better have it. So by the end of this episode, I got to have them on your property. Exactly. Okay, they will be there. By the okay. end of this episode. Uh, oh, I need one more thing since I get that. I'm taking guess they need water. I need a bigger water tank. Uh, there's one right there. I mean, that, that's a little small. I need something with, that can hold a lot more water. Okay, so you need more water than that? Okay, I'm sure I could probably order one in. And uh, let me guess, you need it by the end of this video. Yeah, end of the day. Okay. Um. Yeah, Uh. it normally runs uh around 12000 But since you're needing it rushed, uh, it's going to be fourteen because we got to pay for the, uh, the wonderful semi-truck sold by the way if you see your show don't tell me anything about it oh i'm sure he's gonna know you know the account's like less and uh, he shouldn't care he shouldn't have bought that building without me oh boy your show you on radio yeah what's up i got your header for you is that all you got was the header yep a uh, little birdie told me you bought something else I mean, I may have bought something else, but that's all I brought back was the header. You didn't happen to buy, like, some buildings or something, did you? I mean, did you happen to buy a building without my permission? I mean, you told me to make bread, so I was making bread. That's not making bread. So, but why'd you... I built one building. You bought ten. And my ten buildings are cheaper than your one. Okay, well, I mean, of course. Yeah, their house is made of glass. I mean, they're not going to hold up to a tornado or nothing. Come on. Ooh, ooh. There we go. All right, I got your header. You know what? You've lost combining corn privileges. Fine. Be that way. I'll just keep cutting grass then. Yeah. Keep mowing that grass. Oh, yeah. This corn doesn't look like it's yielding that terribly. Especially, it's going to be good when I go sell it. Did you say something on the radio? Sorry, I was ignoring you. Oh, well, you're going to ignore me now? Maybe. Don't let me sell all that bread. Don't you touch my bread. You already sold all my wheat once. There we go. Everything looking beautiful over there. I'll take little Ruby. I'm going to hook her up to the new water tank. Didn't think it was going to be that big. Yeah, there we go. Not the only thing Ruby's good for anymore. All righty. Time to start watering our productions. The brown ones are mushrooms and the green ones are flowers. What you got going on here, Nate? Oh, all my greenhouses? Uh, I see that. You sure Ruby can do that? She's doing it, ain't she? Down there. Go inside of here. Look at there, Yosha. Wow. Do you not like our, our new things? Uh, I mean, they're they're pretty. They're pretty. I'm telling you, Yosha, these are going to make more money than anything else we've done. Well, I, I, I hope your greenhouses do good, just for my pocketbook, too. Oh, they will. And when they do good, we're getting rid of the bread factory. No, we're not. But we are. Uh... How come we're always trying to sell my stuff, but yet we always keep your stuff? Because my stuff makes money. Well, so does mine, if you'd stop stifling it. Well, actually, sir, did you see I actually put the corn in your meal for you to make cornmeal? No, I didn't. I was too busy with grass. Actually, speaking about the grass, we need to bale some of that for the horses. Well, I'm in the process of working on it, all right? Well, I'm just saying we need to put aside of some of those bales just for the... No, we need to tet it for the horses. Don't we have some over there already? That's for the cows. We need horse hay. What? That is hay, isn't it? It's hay, but we need more hay. So these are for the cows, but you got the other for the horses. Yeah, this little session you haven't bailed yet looks perfect for hay. Fine. We'll tet it. 
Yeah, you do that while I go back to taking care of the most valuable production and seeing how long Ruby will put up with this. If I keep going like this, we may may blow our engine by sun up, sundown. Don't you dare hurt Ruby. Couldn't hear you. Uh huh. Got me another load. Now just trying to finish all these productions out and hopefully start making some money.